in any interaction involving people, there are always two hook points, right? When you hook someone's attention. The first hook point is I like you. The second hook point is I love you. And this doesn't just mean romantically. I like you is eh, better than nothing. Right? Oh, okay, I'll talk to this person. That's fun. It's great. Right? It's a lot of politeness. Um, a lot of the interactions you're going to see out there in society, it's the I like you. Right? If you go and say, order a coffee and the person's talking to you, you'll listen and you'll talk back and they'll listen too, but it's, ah, uh, we're just chatting the chat. Okay, cool. The I love you hook point is when someone really locks in and someone really cares. Okay. And when do you pass the I love you hook point? When value is involved. The more value, the more they care. All right. So say someone's talking to me, for example, about math and you know, say, say like, say you could be talking to me about math. Or, hey, Joel, you know math? And I'm like, oh, that's cool, man. That's cool. Yeah, we'd be talking. I, that'd be the I like you. Anyone here, if you came up to me, you started talking about math, I'll listen. I'm, I'm nice. I'm like, okay, cool. Thanks for sharing. But I'm just going to be like, mm -hmm. okay. I'm not going to be hooked. There's not going to be the I love you hook point. Like if you stop talking, I'm not going to be like, tell me more. There's not going to be that. But if suddenly you shifted topics and you talked about something that was valuable in my mind, Suddenly you're going to shift the, oh, okay, oh, yeah, to, oh, wait, what? And that's when you pass the I love you hook point. Okay. These can happen instantly, right? You can go and say, oh, hey, nice to meet you. And someone's like, oh, wow. And they, you've already hooked. You can hook someone before you even open your mouth and say hi. Or it can take some time. Maybe you pass the I like you hook point, And it takes a while to pass the I love you hook point. You should audit this in others and also audit it within yourself. Even during this talk, there's probably some of you were right off the bat, boom, you were hooked. Some others are like, no, where's this kind of going? And then there's something that I said and you're like, ooh, well that speaks to me and then you're hooked. But we all have this. Yeah, I like you, I love you, there are two. Three key things to look for in terms of behavioral cues to know that you've passed the I love you hook point. Number one, the eyes light up. You'll see someone's eyes just, again, don't overanalyze this. Like, is it the pupil? Is it the one? It's like, you'll just see in their eyes, they'll go like, huh? right? It's like, well, they, they, they kind of light up. It can be very subtle too, like, mm -hmm. right? You just see like, oh, they're, they're, they're now like locked in, right? They're really paying attention. Another thing you'll notice is more often than not, Tonality will shift to what we call trying for a poor tonality, where your voice goes up at the end. Right? So, oh, that's interesting. Oh, math, math, math. Wait, what? Wait, wait, can you say that again? Get it? Oh, wait, what? Really? And then the third one is overall ask yourself, do they care? If I stop talking, would they care? Now this also plays into running out of things to say. If you run out of things to say and there's a lot of awkward pauses, it's simply because you haven't passed the second hook point. If they care, they're going to spark it up for you. If they don't, they'll be like, cool, nice to meet you. 